Hello, my name is Mitch, and welcome back to another roof tutorial. And you might say, hey, this is the same roof we looked at last time. Well, it might be. But today we're going to look at something a little bit different. We're going to do a dormer. Uh, dormer kind of creates a little bit more headroom as far as, you know, if I had a second story here, it kind of poke out and have a window or something. You can kind of think of it as, yeah, I don't know, like a mini roof sticking out from the regular roof. So this shouldn't take too long since we've already got a roof in place here. Now some people will make it just sticking out of the roof and then you could also have it like right aligned with the wall here. Now, I don't think we have a big enough house to make it lined up with the wall. I mean we could, uh, let's see, let's make it out that far. Now we're going to add in some wall here. Decide how big we want it. I mean, you could really do any size. I think we might cut that off right there. And see, now that's going to kind of stick out from the side here. So then, then you want to take your roof building material of choice. This is going to be really easy because it cuts right into where the solid block is. Sometimes you might have to fiddle around a little bit more with stairs to make it, everything work correctly. We're just going to cut in right there and right here. I mean, technically, I guess we could cut in here, oops, like there and here. And so that way it makes it bend a little bit. That looks a little bit more like a natural part of the roof. And we'll do the same thing on this side. There, haha. -ha. That cuts across here. Now let's take a look at that. Yeah, it's shaping up. It looks okay. Let's round this off here. Actually, let's do something a little different. I'm feeling crazy today. Let's use slabs. And we'll slab this, slab this. And then we'll cut across here with some stairs. And then stair on the other side. Boop, boop, and boop. And then we'll come out here with a slab right along, lined right up with that there. And then we can put a little slab here, and then put a little piece of wood in there. And that, for the most part, is your dormer. Now we could even get any even more detailed. Add some of these in here, maybe. I think that looks good. And then you could turn this into a window, even. Depending on how it pokes into the room. Let's, okay, let's get in here. Cut this away. Is that needed? I don't know if that's needed or not. Let's just block it. <clears throat> okay. And then we could... Let's grab one of these windows. Put a window there. And I like that. Can we even... No, we can't drop that down another one. But let's... Let's go in for a little bit of decoration. Give me this grass block. Like, say you could do this here, and then put some trapdoors around the outside of it. Like so. And then maybe even stick some flowers up here. Flower. Are flowers not called flowers? Oh, burr. Let's just go over here. Let's grab some orange ones and some red ones. We'll do red, red, orange. And that adds a little bit of color in there too. Kind of looks gross from looking at it from the bottom, but for the most part, you get the idea that it's a window box. And there you have it. I really like this. It adds a lot of spice to any type of building. See, now it's a little bit different coming in from this angle. You could add another one off the other side too if you really wanted to. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys again next time.